you power pose for two minutes, two minutes, you will change your chemical structure in your body. Two minutes. What will happen is your cortisol, which is your stress hormone, will start to decrease and your testosterone uh, uh, hormone will start to increase. Testosterone aggression are uh, often linked to confidence. So, you know, here we have some examples of, of um, uh, celebrities who are exhibiting power poses as part of what they normally do. Oprah, so when you're seated, uh, if, you know, if you can't stand up, you know, uh, taking up space in your seat, hands behind your head, taking up space, you know, making this all yours, owning your space. You know, Mick Jagger, very common thing to see people who are winning things, right? <sighs> this is a powerful position. Um, and over here we have, you know, Wonder Woman and uh, Gwyneth Paltrow pretending to be Wonder Woman, right? So power posing, two minutes, actually reduce your cortisol, increase your testosterone. So what ha Harvard proved is something that actors know instinctively, that if you pretend hard enough, you'll change things. If you pretend hard enough, you'll change things. This is magic. I love that Harvard did a study because it's magic. This is a type of magic, isn't it? Isn't it magic to say, I don't have something, but I'm going to pretend that I have it, and I will, after a while, have it. So write magic. I don't have it. I will pretend to have it, and I will end up have it, having it. This is sort of like what the secret, I haven't read the book, The Secret, but that's sort of, I think, also what The Secret talks about. This sort of idea of pretending is power. Pretending has potency to it. So we fake it till we make it because you can actually do that.